Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be essentially talking about a fan out model in AWS. So what is fan out and um, uh, how we can build that using a serverless framework. We are going to talk about that in this video. The components that we are going to use is SNS, SQS and Lambda. Oops, let me correct. FIFO SNS, FIFO SQS and a Lambda as a consumer. So I'll show you how to build this architecture essentially using serverless framework. So let's get started without wasting any further time. All right, so I just have one slide. Again, I uh, just want to read a little bit about fan out. Uh, the fan out scenario is when a message is published to an SNS topic is replicated and pushed to multiple endpoints such as Kinesis Data Firehose, um, SQS, HTTPS endpoints and Lambda function. This allows for parallel asynchronous processing. Uh, before we go a little detail on that, first let, let's understand why we need a fan out model. Essentially this model that we are building is an async model which means whenever you broadcast an event and here order is important which means whichever goes first should essentially come out first. So the order is important which is why we are going to use FIFO here. Okay? So think about whenever an order item is placed. right? A lot of system or microservices might be a subscriber to, to that particular component, right? Whenever an order essentially is placed, you might want to uh, send a notification to the customer. You might want to store it on S3 on a data lake. You might want to do various items, right? Those scenarios are essentially when you go for a fan out model, where you have multiple consumer which care about event. This essentially falls under event driven architecture, but let's get straight into action into the code. All right, so this is gonna be lab number 22. And as I said, uh, code is there in the description, so you don't have to worry about that. So hopefully uh, you can see I have two, um, I have two files, consumer.py and serverless.yml file. And I'll go one by one in the detail what each file does, right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go over the serverless.yml file. Here I'm defining my service. I'm defining my serverless framework S3. Here I'm declaring my provider, my Python runtime, my region, memory for the Lambda, timeout, architecture x86 and .env is true. Okay. Now, uh, the, then what, what I'm doing is essentially I'm creating a resource object. So the first item I need to build for my async model uh, is essentially SNS, SQS and Lambda, right? So here I'm building my SNS topic as you can see. And the value is essentially being injected from an env variable as you can see $env.topicName. So if you go to env, uh, as you can see, you have a topic name here, right? Um, content deduplication falls and FIFO topic is true because here in this scenario, uh, I want the events to be processed in the exactly order in which it was received, right? So which is why uh, I'm going to use a FIFO queue. Now here is my SQS queue, uh, AWS SQS queue properties, right? This is again a FIFO SQS, right? Uh, because I have a FIFO SNS, I have to use a FIFO or first in first out SQS, right? Again, the queue name is coming from environment variable. That's again, I'm creating a second resource object, right? Uh, this is a, again, this is a policy that I'm essentially creating my, for my SQS. So I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, simple policy, you know, essentially action is SQS, send messages, right? So uh, this is simple policy, right? I'll skip this part. And here I have a subscription block. So here I'm saying uh, SNS subscription properties. Uh, here I'm saying the protocol as SQS, which means to this SNS topic, SQS is gonna be my subscriber. Again, I'm providing the topic here. And so if you see how I'm building this is, I have all these placeholder blocks, which means the value shall be injected from an ENV variable, right? Again, um, endpoint, as you can see, uh, get ATT is essentially a function that will get the ARN of my SQS once the resource is created, right? Uh, and now finally, I have a Lambda function, which is one of the consumer that is sub, uh, one of the consumers, right? So what we have built essentially here, uh, just to show you visually a little bit uh, on my paint. So here you have an SNS topic, right? And you have your uh, queue. Here is your Lambda function that is subscribed. And remember, you can add as many subscriber as you want, right? Each subscriber can do a, spe a specific activity, right? So we are building this particular um, block here, right? So again, here I'm just essentially printing it to show you that it, it does work. Now let's see this in action. So now, after that, I'm gonna say SLS deploy. Remember, labs are essentially meant that I give you a walkover. I don't wanna go over every single thing. Code is there, you can download the labs and essentially try them out, try them out, right? So now I'm gonna do an SLS deploy and this should essentially deploy my entire stack on AWS, right? So we'll wait for this stack to complete. Uh, hopefully should take about 
10, 5, 3 to 4 minutes or 5, 5 minutes roughly, right? Uh, this entire stack should be deployed and then I should see my SNS, SQS and my Lambda function. Sorry, 5 SNS, 5 SQS, right? So let's wait for the stack to complete. But again, uh, in today's event-driven architecture, this is a very popular design or access pattern that people try to use, right? They want to fan out if multiple consumers are there. You want to essentially opt for a SNS um, model, right? SNS, SQS. Uh, so as you can see, uh, everything has been deployed now. Heading back to my cloud. Uh, sorry about that. So uh, heading back to my cloud uh, here. Um, now what you see here is my SNS topic. So as you can see, my custom uh, FIFO, it's a FIFO SNS. If I click on this, I have a subscription, which is an SQS, right? Uh, now let me head over to my SQS here. Uh, so now I'll show you my SQS, uh, which is essentially a subscriber. As you can see, this is my SQS, it's a FIFO. It's subscribed to an SNS topic. And here is my Lambda function, right? Uh, basically deployed through serverless framework. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I will be publishing an event here. So I'll be showing you a demo. Hi. So here now I'm essentially, uh, oops, I think I have a mistake here, typo. Oh, I think I have a white space. It doesn't like white space. All right, so I did publish an event here. Uh, now what I do expect is, uh, again, this would be pretty fast. You won't be able to see, but you should see like one in-flight messages. And again, consumers are gonna pull the messages, right? So it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty fast. So if I go back, I should see a new record on uh, here. And if you observe carefully, here you see, here is my data, right? Uh, I'll try my best to show you. Okay, we'll go to JSON formatter. And uh, sure enough, you, you see your uh, uh, event essentially over here, right? So uh, this is your, um, you know, uh, you have your body, right? The, essentially what, what I, whatever I passed. Again, it can be a JSON, whatever you have passed in, right? And now you could consume this message. You, you could essentially dump into data lake. You could do whatever you want, right? So again, as I said, the entire code is there in the description, right? Uh, what I would advise you is if you want to learn everything, uh, simply watching is not going to help. So I would say go spend time, download this repository, at least do an SLS deploy and see whether you are able to deploy the stack or not. Okay, with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video and labs. If you need more labs like these, let me know in the comment section. So far, I have 22 labs on serverless framework, which covers Lambda, Layers, SNS, SQS, Dynamo, and every single uh, stuff on how to essentially build all these components using serverless framework. Thank you so very much. A simple like would be much, much, much more appreciated. And if you have any more questions, you may leave your questions in the comments or description, and I'll try my best to get back to you. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning, and I'll see you guys in the upcoming next 